Hello, welcome to Biotanomy. Translation in prokaryotes. The translation is a process by which the protein is synthesized by reading mRNA with the help of amino acids, ribosomes, and tRNA. Now, what are ribosomes? Ribosomes are small subunits, located in the cytosol either as free-floating or associated with the endoplasmic reticulum, that are composed of protein and rRNA. During translation, the ribosomes will bind to the mRNA at the 5' end and read the mRNA from the 5' to 3' direction. Ribosomes as three binding sites for tRNA. 1. A site or aminoacyl tRNA binding site, where the incoming aminoacyl tRNA binds. 2. P. Site or peptidyl tRNA binding site, where tRNA linked to growing polypeptide chain will bind. 3. E. Site or exit site, tRNA will bind before its release from the ribosome. Amino acid activation. The process of loading of tRNA with amino acid is known as amino acid activation. This process is important because the incorporation of correct amino acids during protein synthesis depends on the adapter function of tRNA. Hence, each amino acid should be covalently linked to a tRNA molecule. Also, the covalent bond formed between amino acid and tRNA is a high-energy bond which enables the amino acid to react with the end of the growing polypeptide chain to form a new peptide bond. The secondary structure of tRNA is in cloverleaf shape, with an anticodon accessible at the end of the anticodon stem loop. During the synthesis of the aminoacyl tRNA, the amino acid is covalently bound to the residue of the CCA sequence at its 3 dash end. The attachment of the amino acid to a tRNA is catalyzed by the enzyme, aminoacyl tRNA synthetase. Every amino acid contains a separate aminoacyl tRNA synthetase. Aminoacyl activation occurs in two steps. In the first step the reaction of amino acid with ATP to form aminoacyl adenylate or aminoacyl AMP. In the second step, the aminoacyl group of aminoacyl AMP is transferred to the 3 dash end of the tRNA molecule to form aminoacyl tRNA. Initiation of translation. The first codon of all mRNA will be AUG, which codes for the amino acid sequence methionine. For prokaryotes, it is informal methionine. The binding site of the 30S ribosomal subunit is a short sequence rich in purines, read, 5-AGGAGGU3- named as Scheindelgarno sequence, which lies 5- to the AUG initiation codon and is complementary to 16S rRNA of 30S ribosomal subunit. The initiation of protein synthesis requires several proteins called initiation factors or IFs. In prokaryotes, three initiation factors are essential, namely IF1, IF2, and IF3. The binding of IF1 and IF3 to the 30S ribosomal subunit will begin the initiation of translation. It will cause the ban of the 50S ribosomal subunit from binding to the 30S subunit. The small subunit will bind to mRNA through the Schein-Delgarno sequence. This complex will move along 3-mRNA until it locates the AUG initiation codon. The informal methionine tRNA will bind to the AUG sequence, along with IF2 and GTP which causes the release of IF3. The complex now formed is known as the 30S initiation complex. The 50S ribosomal subunit will now bind to the complex, along with the release of IF1 and IF2, and hydrolysis of GTP, forming the 70S initiation complex. Elongation cycle. During elongation, the initiation codon will move to the P site with FMET tRNA bound to it through codon-anticodon base pairing and next codon will be positioned in the A site. The elongation cycle happens in three steps namely, aminoacyl tRNA binding, peptide bond formation, and translocation. With several elongation factors like EFTU and EFTS. Aminoacyl tRNA binding process. The amino acid molecule that represents the second codon will now bind to the A site via codon-anticodon interaction, with the help of the elongation factor EFTU and GTP. On binding the GTP will be hydrolyzed to GDP and the EFTU will be released. The EFTU is regenerated in a process named the EFTU-EFTS exchange cycle, with the help of the elongation factor, EFTS. This regeneration process is carried out by displacing the GDP from EFTU by EFTS. Then the GTP will bind to EFTU and displaces EFTS, forming EFTU-GTP. 
Peptide bond formation. The peptide bond formation is catalyzed by the enzyme, peptidyl transferase. In this reaction, the carboxyl end of the amino acid that is bound to tRNA in the p-site will be uncoupled from the tRNA and joined to the amino group of the amino acid in the tRNA present in the A-site, through a peptide bond. Translocation In the third step of translocation, the elongation factor, EFG, or translocase with GTP will bind to the ribosome. During translocation, the GTP is hydrolyzed to GDP in inorganic phosphate, and EFG is released to bind more GTP. This will make the A site empty, ready to accept new amino acyl tRNA. Elongation continues. The final process in translation is the termination. Termination occurs when the ribosome encounters a stop codon in the mRNA. In prokaryotes, stop codons are recognized by the termination, or release, factors named RF1, RF2, and RF3. During termination, the release factors, RF1 and RF2 will recognize the stop codons UAG and UAA respectively. Leads to the hydrolysis of the ester bond of the peptidyl, tRNA. With the help of release factor RF3, causing the release of RF1, RF2, and RF3 along with deacetylated tRNA. Recycling of ribosomes. The ribosome still attached to the mRNA and tRNA after termination is released with the help of the ribosomal recycling factor and EFG. The RRF will bind to the A site of the ribosome. The EFG with the help of GTP hydrolysis will push the RRF against the key intersubunit bridge, promoting subunit splitting. This will release 50S ribosomal subunit, RRF and EFG and the dissociation of tRNA from 30S ribosome is promoted by IF3. Thank you. Please like, subscribe and share. See you again in a new topic.